So today I wanted to talk about something that very few people really understand in the physical world because it's it's a reality that is rooted in the astral world. What am I talking about? Setting up healthy energetic boundaries in the physical world requires one to know when to withdraw from certain situations where you have um, emotionally vampiric entities that will literally suck the energy out of you without you even realizing what just what just happened this is actually truth folks energy can neither be created nor destroyed but simply transferred from one form to another so in life you have people who make emotional withdrawals and you have people who make emotional deposits and it's really just a matter a matter of what frequency and vibration your body resonates at if you resonate at a high frequency naturally when you find yourself gravitating towards somebody who resonates at a low frequency it's no different than in weather conditions when a high pressure area meets a low pressure area and it creates um, <clears throat> a you know stormy condition so I mean I'm not a meteorolo meteorologist or, or anything you know like that I but I do know that when you have you know um, like in the weather cold always hot always tends to go after the cold and I think in a way it, it's also a fle reflection of how people live their lives. You know, when you're constantly hot and you're, you know, uh, hot, and by hot I mean, um, you know, someone who's over, overstimulated and uh, engaged in way too many things that, you know, that always has to have them keeping them busy. And, you know, and then there's another person who is really content, you know, maybe going to the beach once a month and, you know, being part of a book club and um, going for a walk, you know, every day. And, you know, nothing too rigorous or, or uh, intense, but just enough to, you know, to really maintain an appreciation of the natural environment that surrounds that person. So, you know, all these things are important to, to consider when maintaining healthy energetic boundaries. You can't possibly do the things that you want to do in life if you're constantly being bombarded by people who want to tug you, you know, in all, in all different directions. And, and, you know, at the end of the day, there's nothing left for yourself. So it's important that, you know, you are in in a position to to shield your energy when you feel like you're over compromising yourself in ways that uh, that go beyond your comfort zone so thanks for watching i hope you find it constructive and beneficial and as always make it a great day peace